Okay, so here on screen, what we have is a picture from a Gears of War content creator called Shadows. I'm sure you've heard of him. And inside of this game, his screen appears to have been hacked. I've also seen lots of um, pictures and videos of one-shot downs, people with modded, you know, power into their guns and all sorts. And each time he will tweet at the Coalition and he will say... Come on, Phil Spencer at Xbox at Coalition Gears. I can't play the game. The servers are down or I'm I'm running into hackers or da 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 or this guy saying something incredibly rude in game chat and racist and there's never ever any response. Yet the same people will absolutely hype up Gears 6. That's the problem. <clears throat> Nobody seems to be saying it and... It, it sort of needs to be said, like, there, there comes a point where you've got to recognise that the game you're playing is is done. It's, it's dead on life support. There's nothing happening. An interesting take, if you want to call it that, is there has, I think, in the last three years, probably been more updates, aka two tweets, to my own suspension than there has been to the entirety of the game. So, the question remains, should you put your faith into Gears 6? Because we know it's coming out. I've always said it would come out. They're never going to not finish the trilogy. And I want you to know that, on paper, Gears 5 was a big success. You might laugh and think it wasn't, but this was like lockdown launch. Um, and it was pretty much put on the Game Pass to promote Game Pass. And from three plus years ago to what Game Pass is now, I think we can all agree that it's blown up. You're now going to get Sony games and all this other stuff going on. They've, they've taken whole studios, whole franchises, and Game, game Pass has blown up into this massive thing. So... <clears throat> Yes, Gears 5 was an absolute disaster show, but it did its job. And I'm sure Gears 6 will do its job in getting people onto Game Pass or playing the game. But should you give it your hard-earned $60 plus, is it worth it? Well, what I would always say is wait. I would always say wait. <coughs> wait until somebody proper has played the game. I myself will not be able to play the game, so I will not be doing that. Um, which leads me into my next point, but I think it's um, I think it's time people stopped giving the coalition so much leeway. You know, I understand, like say for example, Shadows is a full time streamer for TC, and Gears of War, and is a coalition partner and all this kind of stuff. But they don't do anything for him. They don't help him in any capacity, and it's. It's a shame in a way because you have a lot of passionate fans and sometimes, which is the point I'm leading into, that passion can completely overspill. Now, I'm not here to tell you that Gears 6 is going to be terrible because it might be brilliant. And I'm not here to tell you that Gears 5 is terrible or brilliant because you all know my opinions on the game by now. But what is totally unacceptable and what is something we can all agree on is the completely dead communication and then the the coalition xbox <clears throat> whatever just then want you to pick up the next game and hand over your money they're going to say nothing to you for three years and then they're going to release the game and expect you to do some beta testing for free hype up the game tweet about it and i'm telling you if any big streamers pick up the game Dr. Disrespect, Shroud, Jinxy, anyone gets like a bit of a promo to play through the story game like Ninja or whatever, all these people that have been playing the game non-stop and promoting it, you won't be those guys. You ain't that guy. You know what I mean? Like, unfortunately, numbers matter. That's why Gears of 5 was considered a success, because numbers matter. It, it was a success on Game Pass at launch, and that's all it was there for. They don't care about the game in any capacity. They don't care about you, the player, in any capacity because the numbers aren't there and it's not financially viable anymore. They'd rather just move on. And they don't give a crap to even communicate, hey, we've stopped all... Hey, we're stopping all communications. Don't bother pestering us. We're working on Gears 6. 
or hey we're busy doing x and y we understand there's some cheating problems we understand that there's hackers in the game but we can't fix it for x and y people are asking them to patch the game and which this leads me on to my point of where passion spills over and maybe a z of old three four years ago might have made a big annoying video about this person but we move on so i'll tell you um kind of what's going on so when we talk about lack of communication and passion spilling over <laughs> when we scroll on the gears of war um tw twitter account or x account if you want to call it there's nothing all the way down to 2022 it's just um pictures of tattoos pictures of um you know throwbacks pictures of a, a character going in fall guys trying to cling on to some relevance the rumors are true be ready the new gears of war card game comes out no one's ever fucking played it in the life you know what i mean like so there's literally no updates it is the bare minimum you do not feature on this page they do not care about you as a community he might they might do some retweets for <coughs> positive pr and stuff but genuinely th this makes me laugh we're pledging one percent to like mental health they do this tweet all the time which will lead me on to oh but they didn't give a shit about my mental health when they completely mislabeled me by a massive company because i retweeted a picture of a fucking skunk mate apparently calling marcus phoenix a skunk that's the end of the world mate and that gets you to never play the game again but cheating running amok in the game hacking racial abuse and all that stuff you're you're okay to play the game the, you, you know what i mean like we are dealing with a company that just they're just not bothered they might look this is like the the first retweet <clears throat> it, it's gameplay from 2022 and it's of uh, not even their current title i believe this is gears 4 <clears throat> so that was probably the last time we saw any gameplay or anything was about 2022 so two years plus on um when you go to the coalition studio apart from a load of bullshit virtue signaling and come and join our crew because we're fucking wonderful there's literally nothing going on there either there's not like apologies your game's been ruined apologies your servers are down apologies we haven't done any updates in a long time there's literally nothing it's just inclusion it's just um we make a difference through video games we're absolutely brilliant we make fantastic games please join us please join us please join us there's actually not much going on there and um, there's one there's a video from 2021 which where we actually got somebody talking about gears of war so about three years ago so yeah most games when you look at a chart they go up and down because every few months they think we're going to lose some players let's do a big content update and keep the game going oh no man's sky what a failure let's update it let's update it let's bring out a patch they, they keep a steady flow of content to to keep the you know the little bumps throughout all the little keep us going keep us going players up players down with gears 5 it literally launched it had 9,000 10,000 players yes this is a steam graph so blah 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 i know not all players are on steam at all but it just then died there was never any attempt to try and revive the game it's just slowly died they don't care so the question is should you put your faith into gear six should you back this company yeah probably not go and play the game on game pass um <clears throat> and see what you think but they don't deserve like promotion from you or anything like that not at all so so when we talk about passion spilling over there's obviously a lot of um heated people to do with gears of war now back in the day like i say i probably would have just made a video and been like this is ridiculous look at this what a what a stupid mentality but honestly these days i just have no effort for that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spin it a different way um <clears throat> recently um, for the first time in literally like we say about two three years um we actually had a discussion about gears of war for a brief moment on twitter which is something i hadn't done in ages it came about from this picture where shadows was um obviously running into some hackers and he was upset um and i joked that hey uh, maybe if the the player had called somebody a skunk maybe they'd be banned but it looks like cheating's okay now out of the blue 
um, somebody that's followed me for a long time, um, follows me in Discord, has watched my stream even re recently and tried to be like nice and um, whatever, I, I sort of came with a little bit of a clap back. And I never quite understand that. I've never quite understood following somebody that you dislike or like pretending to like somebody, but actually just waiting for the correct moment to have a little bit of a pot shot at them. Now, I'll spin this, okay? I think that this person, Terry, um, is a passionate Gears of War fan, and I think he boiled over, and if he's been honest with himself, I think there was no need to say it, and he'd realise that. Now, Terry, um, if you've never heard of him, um, he helps with Gears of War 1, The New Hope, and I've always been positive about that. I've even played the Horde game, and I think it's really good that there is somebody out there still championing quality for the game helping mod the game helping improve it he runs a discord he runs the PD pc discord and i personally think it's really good that somebody is still passionate about the game and i would never knock somebody's passion for the game because obviously that is why games are so popular and you know why we like them because you can be super passionate about them and get into them obviously um why I'm talking about this is when I said, hey, maybe joking around, you know, if it had called uh, one of the uh, uh, employees, whatever, you know, if, if it had joked about a skunk or whatever, you know, he would have been banned. Um, Terry came in and he was like, brother, you need to move on. Now, I really don't like that little, that little pot shot jab, mainly because there's just no reason. It doesn't add anything to the conversation. You're supposedly somebody that gets along with me and you're just trying to have a little bit of a pot shot, be a little bit of a dick, leave a bit of a dickish comment for no reason. Now, my argument to him was, hey, listen, it's okay um, for, let's say, Terry to moan about the fact he's unhappy with the game's development cycle. So his main point, and I agree with him, is that it it's not very good by the coalition to sell a game in this state for it to still be on steam for it still to be um yeah in sell basically on the shelf in such a poor state and i said in a bit of a tongue-in-cheek listen if i want to moan that this company treats me in a bad state and they leave the game in a bad state that's okay but you know but God forbid, you know, um, I'm a little bit pissed off with the fact that the franchise I like playing um, has been locked away for seemingly no reason, no communication, no updates. All of the things that Terry dislikes about the current game, no communication, no updates, da da da. And I was trying to paint the picture of, yeah, that's kind of what this company are. Like, they don't give a shit about me. They don't give a shit about you. However... I'm not sat there on Twitter telling people to, you know, hey, brother, move on. You know, I could easily go into every Gears 5 stream. I could go into Shadow's Gears 5 stream. I could go into Terry's Gears of War 1 Discord and I could be like, bro, this game's dead. Move on. But people are passionate about it. And at some point, you've got to hold your hands up and say, all right, these guys are really passionate about the game and the game might not be thriving and the game might not be brilliant but they're passionate about the game and they're playing it. So I'm not going to have a pot shot. So it's it's just a little bit annoying when I'm still kind of passionate about the franchise. However, I'm, I'm blocked out of it for seemingly no reason. That's not okay. Even though it's the same issues, it's the same lack of communication, same lack of update, same lack of care for the community. That's not okay. But if he wants to voice his opinion about the exact same things that is okay now i know we're going in circles here but the point is i could easily sit there till i'm blue in the face telling this person to move on but i don't have time for it and there's just no point look if you're still been upset you know that the gears 5 isn't been updated it's not going to change you can shout till you're blue in the face it's not going to be changed um it's very weird to follow somebody and still interact with them and also get things wrong. Like, for example, he came at me and was like, listen, you were suspended four years ago. You've been going on about this for four years. You need to move on. I literally never talk about Gears of War in about three years. It's barely even on my channel at this point. And it was about two years ago. 
I was suspended and I have every single right to be annoyed. And if I want to be annoyed, let me be annoyed. I'm not affecting you, bro. I'm not a tremendous dickhead. I'm not going to crush your passion. Gears is still a very, very weird scene. I think we can see this even from this interaction. But I'm just not going to squash your passion. I'm not going to be a dick to you. I have no ill will to you, but I will block and I will move on. Like, it doesn't mean I have any ill will or I dislike you. I just don't need the energy near me, if that makes sense. If you ever notice anything, I don't know if you've ever noticed this on my channel, seems to be people that end up having a little pop at me, a little argument with me. It always seems to be some former Gears 5 player that kind of acts chill with me, follows me, and then one day they have a little random outburst. I'm sure Terry is an absolutely top bloke and I wish him all the best, mate. Gears just makes people really weird because everyone's dead passionate about it and Twitter is a terrible place, or X, whatever you want to call it, is a terrible place for discourse. That's my point. Like, I could sit there till I'm blue in the face and say, like, hey, Terry, you know the game is not getting any updates, so stop working on New Hope, stop doing Gears of War 1 updates you know, stop talking about the game, move on, bro. But I understand you're passionate about the game and you like the game, and so am I. Maybe our passions are in different places, but, like, sometimes you've just got to chill out, bro. Like, th that's how I that's how I see it. Um, I think the reason that I brought up my suspension when Shadows posted this picture is not because, oh, I'm not over it. I don't play the game, I don't miss the game. I don't think the the game is particularly good and from the bits i've seen on stream i don't miss it the reason i brought it up was for the simple fact of it's a bit ironic isn't it that a games company will do more updates about my suspension than they will about their own game and a games company in 2022 or whatever it was was more upset that i was critiquing their game with fair criticism than actually people running around doing racial slurs abusing people we had esports pro sexually harassing female streamers who got banned from the esports side of gears but are still allowed to play the game you've got hackers you've got people climbing over walls with one shot downs all of that didn't merit any updates, any communications, but my my little community did because it was stinging the beehive's nest, so to speak. So look, should you stick with Gears 6? I'm sure it's going to come out and you're going to get it on Game Pass and you're probably going to play through the campaign. It's going to be super mid. Um, it'll have some fun moments because everybody will be playing on, on the multiplayer again. It might last six months. Maybe it lasts a year. Maybe they go all out and Microsoft want it to be their new big franchise again. And it lasts 10 years with a million updates. I don't know. My honest reaction would just be they're going to finish the campaign. It's going to be a lot more gritty, a lot more dark. They'll have taken things on board. But it's still going to be a tremendously average game and it's never going to get consistent updates because the money isn't there. The point of making this video is I'm so tired of Gears energy or like passion spilling over into the wrong corners. Like yes, I have every single right to be pissed off that a games company basically took away in effect almost a business. I had a very good stream. I was making uh, a decent bit. I had a good community. We were having fun. The critique was fair. And then when all the other devs left and they got a new team of devs, they just thought, let's bin this guy off and get rid of him with no communication. Yeah, I have every right to be salty. And if you can't see that on a human level, why that might annoy me, then I'm sorry, I ain't got energy for you. I am done explaining myself. If I want to sit here and talk about my ban until I'm 92 years old and blue in the face, I will do so. Now, I'm not going to do that. But the point is, like, just stop knocking people's passion. Like, I can happily direct you guys today and say, I have nothing against Terry. I have nothing against those Gears people that still play Gears. Go and watch their streams. Go and support them. Go and donate to them. Go and watch Flexes. Go and watch Shadows. Go and watch these people that grind the game and are good at the game and are positive about the game, right? Go and join Terry's Discord and play Gears Hope. Play in the Gears 1 PC evenings. I don't care. Go and watch Starspawn stream. Go and watch Livo stream. 
I don't care. To me, I like people that play Gears because it's a niche game. But for some reason, everyone has a massive problem with, you know, me because they can't, I don't know, they just can't, maybe they just don't get it. Maybe they just didn't like the way I entered in the scene and critiqued their frame of favorite franchise whatever it is to this day people are still telling me hey get over it but they are the ones not over it because they're the ones just randomly having outbursts at me to this day like i'm in a very different place in my life in 2024 i'm not beefing i'm not even engaging in that man um so like i say go and support terry go and support whoever you want I don't really care. The point is, we're talking about Gears of War as a whole, as I've always done. I've never been in clicks. I've always tried to avoid the clicks and the da da da. Gear 6 is probably going to be all right, but it's never going to be amazing. If you want to play it, play it. And if you want to bash Gears 5 as in, like, call it shit, call it shit, because it kind of is shit. And if you enjoy it, enjoy it. But, like, I'm so over the energy, like, just spilling over and just been all of that. Like,. I, I genuinely can't even fathom why somebody um, would still hold a grudge in 2024, but I, I don't know. Anyway, look, this video was about the lack of communication from the coalition. You can like the game or dislike the game. There's not many things Gears of War people agree on, but what we can all agree on, right, is that simply ditching a game for three years and just telling people nothing and then expecting them to roll up and just hand over money for the next product like oh yeah by the way we fixed everything trust us this time this was meant to be a live service game and it was dead within about six months there was no service it wasn't live it was flat and dead and now we're just going to be expected to trust them because unfortunately i feel like gears of war knows they've got a load of simp fans that will just buy the game anyway when actually they should be trying to win our trust people should be backing content creators that critique the game and not having pot shots at me they should be saying yeah this guy's spot on you know gears should win us back that they they should they should be trying to win our trust gears of war right now should be frantically trying to win your trust to buy their next copy of the game and they're not that's a level of disrespect i don't like because they just think you're going to roll up and buy the next game are you going to do that that's up to you but gears is a passionate place gears is a passionate place full of passionate people and it just gets way, way, way overblown. So when I block people and when I move on, it doesn't mean I have some big, horrible grudge against you or I dislike you or I dislike the people you hang with. It just means I don't need to hear that. I've had enough of it. You know, you're clearly not matching my energy or you, there's some not there. There's some friction. That's OK. I'll just block and move on. But, you know, we all agree that they need better communication and that they should be winning you over. And they're not. And look think of it the other way around all right fair enough they're not communicating with me you might think all right fair enough why should they what about shadows that's grinded the game for like every single day of his life for three years on stream promoting it trying to be super super positive they can't even communicate with him they don't even respect shadows so you know like i don't know what this video was i just wanted to speak a little bit you've seen in my community post that i've been thinking about the game a little bit more um uh so yeah that's that video let's just throw it up there no editing no cuts no nothing all right take it easy folks i'm gonna go um get a mcdonald's